So I guess I've caused quite the stir online with a clip from one of my recent videos where FSD stopped for a pedestrian. They pretty much indicated me with a hand signal that they weren't crossing the street and the car proceeded. And I got very excited because it wasn't the first time I've seen this. I've seen this multiple times now on version 12 where some type of hand signal either from the driver in another car at a stop sign or a pedestrian has let the car kind of move forward. And I've seen it multiple times. I've never noticed this on previous versions. So I thought that was exciting and I posted a clip of that on X and I worded it very carefully because of course I have no proof that the car can actually read hand signals. But I said, I'm seeing increasing evidence that the car can respond to hand signals. I, I keep seeing it over and over again. After I posted that, Ashok, who I believe is still the lead of Autopilot at Tesla, gave it a like. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Maybe that's some kind of confirmation. I'm not gonna read too much into it, but since he liked it, that's, that's probably a positive thing. He doesn't think it's nonsense. And then a little bit after that, the official Tesla X account quote posted it and said, you know, basically along the lines of, here's the car stopping for pedestrian and then proceeding, you know, pretty much recognizing their hand signal. None of this was concrete wording or whatever, but as soon as I saw Tesla with that quote post, I was like, hey, it looks like this is partially confirmed. Like Tesla's basically saying to us, the car can do this in some capacity. And if Tesla really is using video to train the cars, and then there's video of people stopping for pedestrians and then proceeding when they wave them along, why not? That should be possible. It should be within the capabilities of the vehicle. But a lot of people think that this is nonsense. And some people are saying they've seen it a ton of times with version 12. Other people are saying it's total nonsense. There's no way the car can do it. So me and Stephanie are gonna run out here and test it. She's gonna go out there. She's very safe. My foot will be on the brake. <laughs> she wants to do that. She doesn't wanna be in the car. I wanna do that. I fully trust you, no worries. <laughs> yeah, well, we're not gonna be running anybody over. And we're gonna do a series of tests where she crosses the road. She doesn't cross the road. She tells me to stop. She tells me to go, whatever. We're gonna do our best to kind of like scientifically figure this out. Of course, it's not fully controlled, but let's just get to the tests and see how the car does. This video is brought to you by Joa, my choice for premium Tesla and vehicle accessories. Claim your exclusive discount with the link in the description below. All right, we got our first test in here and I'm just gonna let the car do whatever it wants. So unfortunately I saw a five mile per hour speed limit sign. <laughs> it's gonna go that slow and it sees Stephanie and it's stopping for her. So this is just her walking across the street. Obviously the car is gonna, you know, stop for her and do a good job of that. But I wanted to show y'all, that's what it does. So she crossed the street, very good. We're just trying to do this test and we're helping people find their dog. So that's, that's great. All right, on this run, Stephanie is going to kind of wave us forward, like go ahead, but she's gonna kind of be moving towards the car because it does seem like the car mostly takes into account what the pedestrian is doing rather than hand signaling. So wave us forward, yep. <laughs> when she's, yeah, since she's walking in front of the car, of course, it's not going to run her over. So, yeah. All right, we'll try this one again. All right, we just spent so much time getting this dog wrangled. All right, on this one, what I need you to do is walk towards the car, or like walk like you're going to cross the street, but as we get really close, and then act kind of like you're surprised, you know, that we were there, and then stop and wave us forward. Okay. But try to stop like really close to the road. Close to the car? To the road, like right on the edge of the sidewalk or even like, yeah, like right there would be perfect. Okay. All right? Okay. Here we come. Let's do it. I did do a loop around to get the speed limit off of five because that was too slow. So it's stopping for you. Now wave us forward. So it is, yeah, it's, it, yeah, keep waving, keep waving. Yeah, it's not, it's definitely not going for you. I also lost my, I had a destination in here. So now it's continuing. We got to do this a few more times. That was perfect though, what you did. So let's do that again. Um, and this time I'll have the destination in. I did have one, but doing all this driving around for this dog, it, it got lost. All right, here we come. We'll let the car do whatever it wants. It is driving itself right now. I'll make that big for you so we can really see. It's got the turn signal on, start walking and then stop and wave us. Like, yep, keep, just keep waving. And the car is not listening to that. Can you do bigger wave motions? Yep. <laughs> the car is very hesitant. And now it's finally continuing. Very hesitant. Okay. So now what we need to compare, we're going to do the same thing. And you're not going to wave. You're not going to do anything. You're going to stop right there, not move, etc. So this one, Stephanie's going to walk out. And she's going to stop and no hand signals. So the car is already hesitant. Go ahead and walk towards the car and then stop right there. 
and the car is not moving, it's, it's very similar behavior. It's very timid. It does not like that she's in the road. And it is moving forward through here now. Very timid. All right, now what I need you to do is walk towards the car. You might need to back up a little bit and stop before you get to the road. No hand signals, nothing. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see how the car responds to this. So go ahead and start walking. And stop. Yeah, so the car is getting ready to stop for you. And now it's just waiting to see what you're going to do. Man, it's just really hesitant here, pretty much in every interaction. That's probably the right thing to do. Slowly moving forward. And then it's going to wait for this car to the left to make the, make the left turn. So we need a, a negative control here. Back up um, so that you're kind of behind that sign, and we'll see how the car acts with no pedestrian. All right, so here is no pedestrian test. We're going to see how the car does. Acceleration is really nice. It's getting right up to speed. Left turn signal is on. Yeah, it's moving right up to the sidewalk here. Hold seven miles per hour all the way as the minimum. And it's looking around. It's hesitant at this point, but before it was stopping like well before the sidewalk. So definitely the pedestrian is making the car more scared. So that's, that's good at least. All right, so this test, Stephanie's gonna try to get us to stop without her body moving. So if she holds up her hands, I mean, I just told her, tell us to stop, whatever that means to her. So we're coming towards the intersection and whenever she's ready, she's gonna tell the car to stop, but she's not gonna move her body. So she put out a, I mean, that's obvious to me. If someone did that, I wouldn't be moving. And the car just does not give a crap at all. So it's moving through here. She's laughing at us. And yeah, the car does not care about that <laughs> one bit. <laughs> that's pretty funny. That was good. That was a good stop gesture. Thanks. I'm just still living on the high of us reuniting that person with their dog. Good thing we came here today to do some testing. I know. We just saved a little dog. Everyone who commented and told us to come do this saved a little dog. Good job, everybody. I also want to see if it'll move away from this garbage over here real quick. Nope. Oh, it did. <laughs> Holy moly. It did move away from that little bag. That was crazy. All right. I wonder if we weren't mm -hmm. at an intersection, if it would go around me. Maybe it's because it knows that it has to stop and turn. That's smart. Let's switch it up. Hop in. I'll take you back. All right. So now we're doing not an intersection testing, which is very good. Makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to start to go and I'll have to tell Stephanie she's behind that bush. She's just going to walk out. I don't know. I'll just walk across the street, see what happens. All right, go ahead. So the car's going pretty quick and it sees her and does break. But so how did that feel? If, if you didn't know it was me. Was it like too fast or? Um, it felt a little fast, but you, like the second you slowed down, I suddenly felt better. Okay, so now here we're gonna want you to tell us to go ahead, but do the same thing as you like walking out like you did. Okay. So like walk towards the road and basically the whole time, don't wait. I'll tell you when to start walking and just be waving us along before you even see us basically, okay? Okay. All right, so here we come. Go ahead and start walking and wave us along. Tell us to keep going. Tell us to keep going. Tell us to keep going. Yep, keep doing what you're doing. Well, okay. Let's do it again, but I don't want you to get in front of us. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I want you to walk like you did, but don't go out in front of us. Because obviously the car... So just like to hear. Sure, that's good. Because okay. the car's not going to run you over. But I mean, maybe it would. So it's a good good thing you did that. Well, that's what I thought you wanted me to do. Like no, that's fine. That would... No, that's a good test. And then now we'll do a different one. All right, so very similar test here. Can it see? It does see you. Can you back up a little bit? Okay, now it can't see you. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Uh, so pretty similar test here, but now Stephanie's going to stop in the road and keep waving us along. So here we come. And go ahead and start walking and wave us along. Wave us along. Tell us to keep going. And yep, step out in the road and then stop there and tell us to keep going. Whoa, hey! Okay, that was pretty crazy. So now... Now we need to do that same thing, but no waving. I think that the intersection was tripping the car up. Okay, same test here. Do the exact same thing, but no waving. Okay. I'll tell you when to start walking. And go ahead, start walking. So the car starts braking, go in the road, and then stop right there and don't move. So it did go around you. It felt a tiny... It felt a tiny bit more hesitant, but I would say those reactions were almost exactly the same. Waving versus not waving. So let's do it multiple times here uh, to get a little more data and, and see what we think. 
But just based off those two, I would say the waving is, is uh, not really changing anything. How did you feel from your end? It's pretty much the same. Like, I agree. It seemed to hesitate look up at this car just yep. a little bit. But um, not significantly enough that, I, that the hand gesture made a, a difference. All right, let's do two more of no hand gesture, and then we'll do a few hand gestures. Ready? All right, ready. And start walking. So the car stops, it slows, and then, yep, stop right there. And then moves, yeah, that was, that was pretty much the same as the first hand gesture. So we can see that the car is way more hesitant at intersections, which is uh, interesting to see. Let's do this one more. And start walking, same thing, no hand gesture. So it gets up there real quick, and then as soon as it sees Stephanie, it hits the brakes. So we're a little hesitant there, and then we keep going which I, I think is a pretty appropriate reaction. That's pretty much a pedestrian is just going to randomly cross the road and then they go, oh crap, I shouldn't be crossing here. They wait for you to go and then they're going to continue. So not bad. All right, let's do two with hand gestures. Start walking and hand gesture the whole time. Tell us to go, tell us to keep going, tell us to keep going and stop in the same spot you did. Tell us to keep going, stop there. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty much the same, the same reaction we had every time. So let's do it one more time just to confirm, but I think we're learning that uh, at least these hand gestures so far are not uh, changing behavior. Now we gotta, we're going to have to try some stop ones. Exact same thing one more time. Go ahead and start walking. Man, that takeoff is crazy. There's someone coming up behind me, but that's okay. Just just do your thing. Uh, that's okay. You're good. That's That's fine. Okay. That's funny. I'm going to turn around. All right, now we need to try the opposite. I want you... Can you just stand next to the road and tell us to stop? Okay. Actually, even better, stand right next to the sidewalk, like in the road. You can go stand there right now. Like you're going to be there the whole time. Not, no body movement. So we're basically testing pure hand gesture, no body movement here. So, yep, right so there. You want me, like, right here in the road? Yep, right there. And right. the car can see you. It sees you right on the edge there. And we're going to see if it'll listen to you when you tell us to stop. So the whole time, just tell us to stop. So here we come. You want me to put my hand up yep, right now? yep, yep, yep. Just tell us to stop. <laughs> Does not care. Forget you. <laughs> it drives right around you like nothing. Okay. So, again, if I was driving as a person and I saw a person on the side of the road doing that, I would at least slow down to investigate what was going on, look around a little more. I know I'm going to get some comments that are like, well, some thieves will put a woman in the road to make you stop and then they jump you and steal your car. Like, yeah, that's possible. But listen, 99% of the time that's not happening. And if somebody, any person is standing in the road like that, you're going to be like, whoa, what's happening here? <laughs> I'm not saying you pull over and get out. <laughs> I just, I can, I can hear the comments already. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Can you just stay there, please? Yeah, sorry. That's okay. Me. Oh, sure. Yeah. And here we come and just hold your hand out the whole time. Tell me to stop. And you know what? If a human comes up, you do the same thing to them. See if they'll stop for you. You agree with that? Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. You don't do that. All right. So we're going real slow. I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't listening to Oh, honest. okay. <laughs> I said if a human drives, you do the same thing to them and see if they stop. I'm not sure why we're going so slow on this run. There is absolutely no reason. Can you walk, uh, take a couple steps forward? There's a car coming. All right. Can you tell him to stop and see what happens? No. Just another stranded EV. It's uh, it's it's 50 degrees, so it, the battery failed in the blistering cold. All right. My destination's also gone. Let me put that back. All right. Two of them is good. Destination's good. I'm gonna stand and hold up my hand the whole time. Yep. Go ahead. In the road. And if we don't stop, get us to stop. Like walk in front of it and stuff, okay? Okay, okay. All right, foot's over the brake. So you can give it a minute here. I'll tell you when to start walking. Oh, don't turn in here. No. All right, start walking. Start walking, yep. So the car is stopping for you. Get, get in front of it. All right, keep that hand up. All right, now stop there. Put the hand down. All right, keep the hand up. And There's another car coming. No, it's not. Yep. Son of a gun. <laughs> On this one, I just want you to screw with the car. 
So go ahead and walk out and stop right there. So it's slowing. As soon as it starts going again, walk. There you go. Yep. Yeah, and then stop. Perfect. So now it's waiting for you. I don't know exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're telling it. You're like, go. Tell it again. Can you tell it to go? Yeah, there you go. Those are good. Yeah, it's not. It's not about it. And now what if you get out of the road? We'll see if it's stuck forever. Okay, so now it's comfortable with, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. So if you move back out of the road, it does get comfortable moving. But with you acting goofy, it's not happy with uh, proceeding here. Very slowly. Yeah, and stopping again. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's actually pretty good. That, that, if somebody was acting like that, I would be like, what's going on here? <laughs> yep, and then it proceeds. All right, well, that's a good result. Well, I think we've learned hand gestures aren't doing it. All right, one last dumb test here. I had Stephanie uh, get a stop sign on her phone. <laughs> just a picture of a stop sign. I'm just curious if the car will pick it up at any point. Like, I can't see that at all. I still can't really. Okay, now I can see that it's a stop sign, kind of. Yeah, the car doesn't care about that at all. I don't know, it's stupid. <laughs>